Yeah, this is um, what I got for Britain, right? Transfer of functions. Straight from the Crown, straight from Her Majesty. And the Substitute in Words Act. The Secretary of War shall be substituted for the words Secretary of State. And it keeps reiterating things like that, the Defence Act. Right, the War Department, Secretary of State for Defence. We got Metropolitan Police up in here, telling you that they are uh, basically army officers. Um, Naval Prize Act. Words the Lords of the Admiralty. The words the Admiralty, they shall be substituted the words the Secretary of State. Section 37, the words the Admiralty shall be substituted the words the Defence Council. There's more about the Naval Prize Act, just goes on and on. It's, uh, it's quite a lot there, so I won't be able to go through it all. Road Traffic Act 1960. In section, blah, 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 for the words the Admiralty, the War Department, or the A Ministry, they shall be substituted the words the Secretary of State for Defence. Now they call him the Secretary of um, State for Transport. So, yeah, there's more than one of these um, acts. Well, uh, transfer of functions. But it, there'll be an updated version of this as well. Um, it says there somewhere that the, the older one still has effect. And this is the County Court Admiralty Jurisdiction Act. And then uh, number five here. Uh, number four. Nothing in this Act, or in any order in Council under it, shall confer on a County Court jurisdiction in any prize cause, or in any other matter with the Naval Prize Act 1864, or in any matter arising under any of the Acts for the suppression of the slave trade, or any Admiralty jurisdiction by way of appeal. Slave trade is in full swing. In the, mag in the Magna Carta, it says, We will sell to no man, or deny to no man, the right to justice. It's telling you by here that um, the High Court of Admiralty of England, um, if you think fit with previous notice to the other party, transfer the case to the High Court of Admiralty and may order security for costs. And that's, uh, that's just in this County Court Admiralty thing. So by calling that thing in court, where you've got to stand and defend yourself, the dock, it's pretty clear that this, the admiralty laws, they're, uh, they got us under. Right, I haven't got the Naval Prize Act and things printed out, I've got them on um, PDFs, I think. But basically, um, the Naval Prize Act he mentions you, which is a part of this because he mentions it in you, um, tells you in there that officers of a naval warship can go on land expeditions and anything they capture, including slaves, um, will be taken to the harbour, the dock, reported to the harbour master and dealt with in a prize court under this act here, the County Court Admiralty Jurisdiction. So it's got to be taken to a court that's got the County Court, which all of them have got it. I think if it's three miles from the coast, I think it says in here somewhere, but they've got a dock in every courtroom, so you're three miles from the dock, aren't you? You're in the bloody same room as the dock. So, so they're using stupid little words like this to trick people. Um, and under the the, um, the Naval Prize Act mentions um, the Prize Court Act, which is part of this, and that, that's uh, officers of the court can charge a fee. So that's where they get any fees from. Now they've already got um, a salary. Judges already get paid a yearly salary. So why have we got to pay for the... And the courts are paid for out of taxpayers' money. So how are we paying for court costs and then paying them a fee when they've already been paid once? They're getting paid on top of their pay. You know, it's disgusting. They, that's double dipping if ever I've heard it. We've got to pay for, pay for their services when they've already been paid. You know, it makes no sense.